This is section 3.3 day one. Today we're going to move into more properties of logarithms. Um, this is a big property actually as it helps us combine logs together or if we already have a combination to split them apart. So we're going to talk about three basic properties of logs and then we're going to talk about how to expand and then how to condense. So when you have a log and you are multiplying two values together or two um, unknowns together, you can actually separate those two logs with addition. So everything stays the same, same base for both of them. I'm just splitting that multiplication and I'm turning it into addition. What this is not, what students often do, is they will just turn the parentheses into addition, but we need to completely separate the two um, values, the u and the v, whatever those happen to be, we need to fully separate them and give them each a log. So it's not one log with addition, it's separating and uh, creating a log for each of them with addition. Same kind of concept with division. This will actually turn into subtraction. And again, I'll write the thing that it does not equal. It does not equal uh, u minus v. All students do that sometimes. Um, make sure that each of these values is getting its own log and you're completely separating the values from each other. The last one is if I have an exponent, we kind of already know this when, um, when we have an exponent, those can come in front of a log, which is sometimes helpful to take things off, to take that exponent off, and also that would work then in reverse. So I could put the power back if that were to help. Um, also these are in reverse as well, so if I had addition, I could put them together with multiplication, and if I had subtraction, I could turn it into division. So let's try a couple. So this first one says let's expand. We're going to expand all three of these. And then down below we're going to condense. We'll go backwards. So to expand them means I want to spread them out. I want to um, separate them as much as I can. So right here we've got two things in here, a 2 and an x. So I can separate them. Um, I don't have a base there. Well, I mean, uh, I don't have a specific base there besides base 10. Um, so I don't need to write it. So I'll do log 2 and then log x. So I just took that multiplication that's happening in there and split it with addition, making sure that both of those things got their own separate log. I've got one with division, so each of these gets separated with subtraction and they each get their own log. And then one more step, you could take this, um, we'll do some problems where this is advantageous to us, but you could bring that 4 down in front. So that would be completely expanded. No exponents, all exponents are in the front and everything is separated. So kind of one term per log. Last one, um, just so you know, all of these things also work for ln. Remember ln is just a log base e, so it's no different in terms of being able to separate things by subtraction, it's just a different log base. Um, first I'm just going to quick write this 3x minus 5 as an exponent. Since we're in the exponential chapter, it makes more sense to work with that. Uh, division turns into subtraction, so I'm going to have two separate, with subtraction, logs. One with the numerator stuff and then one with the denominator. And then that half could come in front, that could be about the last thing you do with this. Uh, minus. So here's a case where I'll have kids try and put this into division. So remember, they each need to have their own log in order to come together to make division. So these guys don't have their own log. They are together sharing one log. I also can't separate them into two logs. I don't have any rule that works when I have subtraction in the parentheses. Only if they each have a log, if they're totally separate, can I mush them back together. So now we're going to condense, so this is the reverse. So instead of me giving you this form and you spreading it all, spreading all of it out, now I've spread it all out for you. I would like you to put it back together into one log. So first, any numbers in front, I'm going to put back as a power, as an exponent. And then I'm going to turn subtraction into a fraction. and multiplication is, sorry, addition is multiplication. So you could write this, you could also write this. Since that z is really over a one, it could go up with the x value. 
So anything you're subtracting goes in the denominator. It makes that fraction. Anything that is positive or is being added would go to the numerator. Uh, next up, we're going to like treat this almost like PEMDAS. So we're going to do our um, <laughs> inside the parentheses first. So I'm going to put all my powers back. And then I've got this quantity here. Again, I don't have any rules for what were to happen. I should make this look like that so it doesn't look like a Z. We don't have any rules for when I have a plus sign in parentheses. I only have it if those two are together in a parenthesis being multiplied or if they're completely separated, each having their own log. And that's not what I have here. Um, so I'm going to put these two together. So I've got x squared and then this is a negative, so that's going to go down below. This is also a negative, so I'm just going to extend that and put that down below. And then this one third in the end would look something like this. Or you could, oops, sorry, one third. Or you could put the one third like this. Just make sure your natural log is never under the root. So we're doing the natural log of all of those things to the third root. So that's expanding and condensing really hinges on those three different properties.